Now we are working breaking news out of the State House. At any moment, General Assembly leaders are expected to unveil a revised plan to close the state's $220 million budget deficit. Eyewitness News has learned the House Finance Committee is looking at the following. Car taxes, cost of living adjustments for future retirees, the state's rainy day fund, and refinancing pension funds. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly just spoke to House Speaker Gordon Fox. Sean Jordan says live in Providence with the late breaking details. Yes, Karen, from flooding to finances. Less than an hour ago, top lawmakers here at the State House reached an agreement on a plan to balance Rhode Island's budget. For some of the details, we caught up with one of the key negotiators in the discussions, Speaker of the House, Gordon Fox. Mr. Speaker, in broad strokes, can you delineate for us, for Rhode Island right now, how you intend to close the $220 million budget shortfall? Well, I think the big items are we propose that we are going to achieve savings with, with COLA reform in terms of pension reform. We are looking at reducing aid to local cities and towns by a significant number. We're also looking at some tools in terms of reorganization, some other efficiencies that we're going to do through government. But one thing I will tell you is that we are constitutionally mandated to have a balanced budget, both at the beginning of the budget cycle and at the closeout of the, of the budget. And we will have a balanced budget when we close out the 2010 Zero budget. Mr. Speaker, who do you expect might be happy about this plan and likewise unhappy about this I don't this want to plan. prognosticate on that. You know, I, mean, I used to practice in the family law and the one thing they used to always say that maybe if all sides are unhappy you reach the probably a pretty good result. Translation, no one here is thrilled about being forced to get by with less money. Now this plan still needs approval first by the House Finance Committee expected later tonight and then after that probably next week or beyond the full House and the full Senate. Live at the State House with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.